What's up, YouTube? We're live on the stream, twitch.tv forward slash narkelly. And apparently there's some balance changes that are coming and these are confirmed by the big dudes posted by P-Lover on the PVZ Reddit. I didn't know these were coming. I don't know if anybody did, but I, this is the first time I'm looking through them, so. All right, Snapdragon, old, 3-2, yeah, kind of trash. Oh, whoops, I'm bad. 3-2 to 3-3. I think that's a good change. I don't know, Snapdragon wasn't bad before, but now it might actually be playable. I don't know. Twin Sunflower buff is good. That makes it compete with Sun Shroomier, or Sun Shroom. Um, Shield Crusher Viking seems a little bit excessive. I mean, I get that he's a legendary, but his ability is so good, and he only, if his costs aren't changing, seven five for five, that has his bullseye ability. That's broken, right? I think it's broken. Whatever. Zombie King, Reunites, Knights of the Living Dead. Cannot reunite Knights of the Living Dead. Okay, so that's not really a change. That's just them fixing it to where it's supposed to be. Like, what? Tomb Raider Zombie, 2-3 to 2-4. Yeah, we, we needed that. My god, Tomb Raider Zombie was unplayable. If you got it as like a surprise conjure or something, it's like, Okay, this might be fun with the RNG, but most of the time it's just like trash. Not like this. Not, not like this, fish. Thank you very much for the bits, man. I'll get the uh, Narbucks an extra time put up after the video. Um, Abracadaver. Ooh, three one to three two. I do like that. Abracadaver is a card that I like, but you know, once you get better cards, you don't use them. Mirror Nut. Oh six to oh seven. That's cool, because it's more damage if he, you know, if you uh, let him soak damage, but... Fish! Thank you for subbing, man! Everybody, give Fish some hype or something. I don't I don't know, but I'll, I'll get your time and, add, and stuff added. Thank you very much. Distracting my YouTube video. Come on, man. Uh, but the point I'm trying to make is it's a cool change for me or not, but at the end of the day, it's still able to get Rolling Stone, Weed Sprayed, all that stuff, so... It's still like a decent card, but it doesn't make it insanely better. Yeti Lunchbox is a pet trick now! That's good, I like that. Add a little bit more viability to pet decks. I appreciate that. Um, so Magic Beans, shuffle four Magic Beans sucks in your deck, draw a card. Oh, they're getting rid of the draw a card. It's probably the right move because bean decks were a little bit out of hand, but we needed the bean decks to counteract. Well, we'll see what the rest of the changes are, but we'll see. I liked it with the draw card, but it might have been a little bit excessive, because you get a lot of card draw with, like, Planet of the Grapes and Lima Pluridon and stuff, like, well, with the Beanstalks from Pluridon, but whatever. Leftovers is pet trick. That makes it slightly better. I don't know if that makes it worth playing, though, because two cost. Maybe. Gravitry, slight buff, 7-7. Seven, seven. Pretty cool. I guess it's decent, but Lily is getting nerfed. I'm not sure why. That's I like. Well, maybe it's so that you're, you know, you're gonna get only one use out of it most of the time instead of two. I don't know. That's I don't know how I feel about that until I play test it a little bit. I guess escape through time, one cost to two cost. Yo. I was constantly complaining about how OP Escape Through Time plus Zombology Teacher was, and this, <laughs> I don't know if this is the right answer, but I'm, I think I'm actually okay with it. I'm totally fine with it. Hardy doesn't need to be super OP. Um, Neutron Imp, 4 cost, 4-4, four, four, 2 cost, 2-3. Two, Watch out, boys. Neutron Imp Environment deck coming up, because that'll let you spam the environments, especially with Huge Giganticus. No matter which one of his superpowers you start with, you're pretty much set up to help this Neutron Imp, and you can do like a fast, aggressive, or like a tempo deck with it. Combo. I don't know, I like that change. Uh, three Knot is a 3-1 to a 3-2. Good change. I hate cards with one health. It, they're super annoying to play, I can't. Um, Gatling P, 4-5 to 5-4. Good change, you can actually get some use out of the bonus attack. And like, you'll probably have it protected anyway, so the one minus health probably doesn't matter. Jellybean, 4-4 four, four to 4-3. Four, 
kind of a bummer because Jelly Bean wasn't like amazing, but actually it kind of was. It was really good if you had a dedicated bounce deck and you got the right cards. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I don't. I don't think I care very much. What's your favorite event card? Um, Regifting Zombie. Always has been. Probably always will be. Sunflower Seed is getting nerfed too. Uh, that's fine, honestly. You don't need the extra health. You don't want him to live. You want him to kill something, trade into it, and then you have a sunflower for the next turn, so that's fine. Uh, Gargantua Mime. Getting a buff. I think that's good. He needs more health. Well, I would like more attack, but that would make him broken, so. Con Man! Oh, thank God. Con Man's losing a health. We can use Bonk Choi against it. We can use... We can use a lot of things against it that we couldn't before. This is a much needed change, I think, because Con Man was a little broken. Stop it done! Oh my god! Four cost stop it done! Yo! Good deal. Good deal. Let's nerf these zombies. Let's get the plants back in the game, guys. Um Stone Gargantuar. Is that the uh Gar uh Gargalith or whatever? The one with the gravestone? Or is there actually a stone gargantua? Is that what he's called? I don't know. Anyway, it's a 7-5 instead of 7-6. I don't care about that change. Zomba Aerostatic Gondola Recycling Value 1,000. Recycling Value 4,000 due to text mistake. Yo! That's a lot! That's a lot of recycle value! But at least they're acknowledging that there was a mistake. That's a good deal. They're nerfing the zombies for once? Yeah, fish. They need it. Thanks for the bits. Loco Coco, going from 3-3 to 3-4, that's cool. I didn't have any problem with Loco Coco when I was using it, but okay. Typical Beanstalk, 4 cost, 5 cost. Well, now you went from making it uh, an okay budget card to a trash card. Good job. Um, Gargantuar, Return, Gargantuar. 6-5, can make self. 6-6, six, six, cannot make self. Kind of a bummer, but I'll take the extra health. Heck yeah. I'll throw all the Gargantuars. Duckstass, 2-3 two, to 2-2. Two, two. Long live the stash. Zombot Dinotronic Mechasaur can make self. Cannot make self. That's probably good. My god, that would be broken. Could you imagine just double spawning things? Oh, you killed something? Nope, because my board is full again, because I drew a card. Where's Prickly Cactus buff? Hobo, chill. Thanks for the bits, man. Buried treasure, two cost two, three. One cost two, two. Yo, that's probably why mine's all glitched in my beta. Velociradish hatching, 1-3 to 1-2. There you go, guys. There's the nerf. Y'all were complaining about it. Snake grass. Okay, that doesn't... Yeah, it's a flavor text. Blah. Half banana when destroyed. Bananas in your hand get plus one, plus one. When destroyed, bananas in your hand get plus one attack. They're nerfing half banana, and he didn't even have a chance to shine. Whatever. Um... Leprechaun Imp, when, sh when played, shuffle two pots of gold, and you play, when played, shuffle. Oh, they nerfed Leprechaun Imp! That bums me out, dog. That's fine. Still a good card. Still a solid card. I mean, 2-2 two, two on one, and you get, yeah. No, it's good. Thank you, Illuminati. I haven't seen it yet. I'm, I'm almost there. Garg throwing Imp, when hurt. Oh, yep. Make a random Gargantua that costs five. Oh, come on. Oh, no, that's cool. It was a smashing. I thought it was any random for some reason, and then now it's a five. Now it's a five, and that could open up possibilities. So that's actually cool. Good change. Medulla, when you play a zombie here, you get plus three turn. This turn, yep. Oh, God, they did it. It's a needed change. Nebula was broken and everybody knew it, and this is the right change for it. Am I happy about it? No, I'm not happy about it, because, like, Medulla spam and just breaking Medulla was my favorite thing. Y'all were like, Blob didn't get nerfed. Blob did get nerfed because Medulla got nerfed. Look at this, right? This right here? That is a Blob nerf. That's a Blob nerf, straight up. Blob is not gonna be the same after this. It'll still be good, probably, but it's not gonna be the same. Okay, Jurassic Fossil Head. Ooh, they nerfed that Fossil Head too. They just slamming the zombies. 
This is good. This is probably good for, for balance. Um, that's I think that's a good change. Could maybe even use a little bit more of a nerf. Maybe not, but eh, it's still going to be a really good turn, too. God. Bob will still be amazing, but it's not going to be straight up broken. Uh, Alright, Primal Walnut. Oh, you don't draw a card. You conjure a card that costs four or more. That's actually pretty cool. I like that more. I do like that more. Bobo, thank you for the bits. Not rip zombies. Yo, they're getting smashed, but that's fine. That it's not too much. Uh, Marine Bean. It's two two for each other plant in the water, but now it gets plus two attack for each other plant in the water. Okay, so it kind of sucks. Oh, it has one more base health. No, that's trash. I mean, I guess if it's each other, whatever, whatever. I don't care about the Marine Bean. Marine Bean can go die. Um, Strawberryan. Yo, it changes from deal do t one damage to zombies here next door. So that's like solid removal <laughs> instead of random. Especially since like I don't know, it's it's a good change. It's more damage and it's more spread damage. I like that. No blob stomping on fossil head OP decks. We'll see. Somebody's gonna come up with something. We'll see. Thank you for the bits. Savage Spinach is a 3-5 now. And it just makes all the plants in your hand and this plant get plus two attack instead of two two. That's a bummer. Again, come on, man. Um, you, can, you conjure a leafy card instead of drawing a card on lily pad. Weird. Why are they changing unreleased card stats? They should let us test it and then decide. Well, it's probably because of internal testing. You know, they, they were playing their own beta and they're like, okay, this is what needs to change. So it's not about letting us play it, it's about them testing it. Thanks for the, the bits though, sir. Sunstrike. Okay, so you conjure a trick instead of drawing a card. That's cool, I like conjure cards. They're, it's weird that they're like, making a hard left turn into more RNG rather than trying to tone down the uh, like randomness of the game. They're like, no, this is a random game, come on. Allosaurus is buffed. Uh, health, and then heals less. I thought the two heal was already not very good. So dropping it to one, I'm not impressed with Allosaurus. Lost Coliseum goes from 3-3 three, three to a 2-3. And a zombie played on this gets plus 2-3 instead of 3-3. Three, three. Still pretty solid card. Raptor Rider gets plus 2 attack when this hurts plant hero draw a card. Turns into, still gets 2 attack when this hurts plant hero conjure a card that costs 2 or less. It still counts as a card draw, I'm fine with it. Gives you something to play too. I think that's fine. I think it's a good change. And then uh, all existing cards that will be nerfed will be able to be recycled for the cost identical to their craft cost. So nobody complain and stuff. Dust your cards if you need to, but I am feeling pretty positive about these changes overall. Um, and opening the game soon after launch of the update gives you two free Triassic Triumph packs. Good deal. That's it. Leprechaun Amp was nerfed. What happened to it? Uh, it went from two pots of gold to one pot of gold. That's going to do it for the YouTube video. YouTube, thank you very much for watching. I will see you later.